In this case study, we're going to go into maybe excruciating detail, showing you how I really am not always sure about which point of view I'm going to be taking. With these microneedles, I just place them on my table just to take a look at it to kind of get a sense of what they look like. I, I even went further and put them on top of the petri dish which they came in just to sort of study it. I actually don't mind this image as a final image. I was surprised. But as you've seen before, you've seen the micro needles placed on the flatbed scanner, which does produce a really wonderful image. I then decided to also then go back and refine the arrangement. There are two colors that the researchers decided to distinguish between showing pink and clear. Just, you know, looking at the depth of field, here I'm starting to compose for a cover shot. In this image, I did the same thing, thinking about a cover, but just using one color, I thought that the pink was distracting. In this next image, I just refined the color a bit, which we could do in software. In this image, I'm still looking at a point of view. Look carefully as I slightly change the positioning of the disk in the lower left. Watch as I go back to what I previously had and just very ever so slightly change it so that it doesn't become redundant with the other arrangements. These are very, very minute changes, but this is sort of what you have to go through. In the end, the interesting thing was that the researcher sent me a very wonderful microscopic picture of these microneedles, and he really wanted to try to get a cover. And although this course is about a camera and a lens, I thought it'd be interesting for you to see the possibility of creating a potential cover submission from a horizontal picture. I really do encourage you to consider doing these kinds of things. We're not changing the microneedles, we're just changing the background of the microneedles. And so from this initial shot, we in fact did get the cover.